Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel, Electrical Lectures. In today's video, I will be showing you how to use a very famous online latex editor, which is Overleaf. This Overleaf environment is very helpful for beginners of latex who do not want to go through the installation of editors and compilers. So today, I will be showing you how to write a basic latex document in Overleaf. It provides a very user-friendly environment where you can simultaneously see your latex code and your generated PDF. So let us start. The first step is to open the Overleaf website. I have already opened it. And then you need to log in. You can easily log in with your existing Gmail account. Here I am going to log in with my Gmail account. And now if you are going to start a new project, then click here on new project and then blank project. You can write the project name here. For example, I name it as first project and press enter. It will create your latex project. So let me introduce you with this interface. First of all, on the left hand side, you have got the name of the files including the main text file and any other figures or class files. In the middle pane, you have got your latex code and Overleaf has provided you with the basic document structure. So you do not need to worry about the addition of basic packages or basic syntax. And on the rightmost pane, Overleaf provides you with the generated PDF view. So the main advantage is that you simply write your code in the middle pane and save the code by pressing Ctrl S and at the same time the code will be compiled and you can see your PDF in the rightmost pane. If you traverse the latex code, the first line is the document class. It is by default article. Then there is a package and after that there is the title of the document, author name and begin document and end document. You can modify the document as per your choice. For example, I write here, this is my first document in Overleaf. And you just press Ctrl S. It will compile and you can see the code is appearing over here. You can write any inline equation and start a new paragraph. If you want to see how to write a basic latex document, you can go and watch my latex series where I have shown you how to write the basic latex document. That procedure remains the same. For example, I write a new para here. This is my second paragraph of the latex document. And just press Ctrl S and you see a new para will be started and it is reflected in the generated PDF. And now if I want to write an equation, an inline equation, an example equation is inside dollar signs, y is equal to x square. But since I am going to write a mathematical equation, I need to insert a new package in the header and that package is either math tools or you can use AMS math. Now if I click save then you can see that the equation is appearing here as y is equal to x square. Similarly you can insert new sections and subsections in your latex document. Let's say I want to add a section and name it as the main section and press Control S so it will start a new section named as main section. And if you want to add a subsection, then you can simply write subsection. This is a built in keyword of latex and write here subsection. Save it and the change will be reflected here as a subsection. So in this way, you can keep on adding two subsections by using the latex built in command. 
One of the main advantages of Overleaf is that it helps you in writing the correct command on the run. For example, if I have to write something in the form of bullets or numbers, then how Overleaf will help? Let's see. If I want to write the bullets in itemized environment. So you see, Overleaf is suggesting me to use this word. So I simply click that suggestion and all that syntax is appearing over here. Now I can simply write anything in the items. I can write here first item and then backslash item. It is the second item and so on. And if I click save, you can see that the change is reflected here and the items are appearing in the bullets form. Similarly, if I want to write something in bold, just simply select and click control B like you do in MS Word. So it has automatically put the command of text BF. And then if I run or simply click save, you can see that the second bullet is now written in bold. Similarly, if I want to make the first bullet as italic, then I can simply press Ctrl I. So it has automatically converted the text to italic. Just save to see the change. So this is a very brief introduction on how to use Overleaf to write a basic latex document. In the upcoming videos, I will be showing you how to write mathematical equations and insert figures and tables in your latex document by using Overleaf. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel Electrical Lectures.